Lars, hello. Hello. How are you today? I'm very good, thank you. And you? I'm very good, thank you so much. What brings you to Moldova? This is your first time here, isn't it? Yes, it is. I arrived yesterday and as you might know, I'm from the Teleasonra group. Mm -hmm. The fifth largest operator in telecoms in Europe. And we are glad to be working uh, with Moldcell here in Moldova. Now, what is the purpose of your visit? My title is Head of Community Communication. And that means that I'm in charge of all activities that we do in social media. As you know, social media is something that is booming and is very important for a company these days. And plus, it's very effective. Very much so. Mm -hmm. Now, if you could describe uh, to people, what is it exactly that you do within the company? I work at the corporate head office and my title is, as said, head of community communication within group communications. Mm -hmm. I am, I think it says, I, I'm supposed to lead, assist and monitor mm -hmm. and measure our brands with their work in social media and as you know we have close to 40 brands in 20 countries. So that means you t travel to all those countries and you basically check on what they're doing? Well as you know we, we're a telecoms company so we usually work with phone conferences and webinars mm -hmm. but sometimes uh, a personal visit is very effective. Like today? Like today this is my first time to mm -hmm. meet my colleagues at Moldsell. So what has been done so far with Moldsell? You've had less than 24 hours mm -hmm. What has been done so far? Well, I had a lovely evening last night. We had dinner at a Moldovan place and mm -hmm. tried the food. And we talked about Moldovan history and culture because I think if you're going to be successful in social media, you need to understand the cultural setting. How can you speak? Because I mean, you cannot maybe act like a Spanish person in Kazakhstan or the reverse, like a Swede in, in Moldova mm -hmm. because we're different personalities. And some of the things don't apply. Exactly. What could be fun in one country could be rude in another country. Mm -hmm. So what have you suggested to Molsell to use for uh, when it comes to social media? I think for all our brands it's important that they all have a social media strategy. Mm -hmm. Why are they doing it and how are they going to secure the resources to do it? Because for me personally I think the, the meeting and relationship we want to create with our customers because the only way we can improve and get even better is by the input we get from our customers. And for example, when I look at Moldsell, I can see the Facebook page here and with close to 8,000 fans mm -hmm. or likes. Uh, I mean, the chance of getting good input to improve Moldsell even better is enormous. What has Facebook done for other countries? Let's say, can you give a few examples of, you know, maybe uh, how Facebook helped in promoting a product? If I can just look at the Teleasonra group, mm -hmm. um, uh, this spring we posted in some countries information about the Teleasonra professional program, mm -hmm. which is for people who have been working a while, who has a master's and who want to try something new. And just last week I met a new person at the Teleasonra head office and I said hello to her and welcome and who are you? Uh, and, and I found out she found this position thanks to Facebook in Sweden. Mm -hmm. So I think it's brilliant that you can find a new career thanks by us introducing our services and, and open positions on Facebook, for example. Mm -hmm. Now I'm sure you have uh, monitored the mole cell page on Facebook. How are they doing so far? I've seen, I've seen myself on the mole cell page uh, contests, uh, posting photos and so on. So how are they doing? Ah, that's a very good question. As you know, for me, since I don't speak the language, mm -hmm. I cannot, of course, understand all the nuances and how you comment and respond to what the customers write. But I mean, just the basis that multiple people do respond and invite to conversation is brilliant. And that is what we have to do. Mm -hmm. Because we are here for the customers, not the other way around. If you could advise Molsell to use social media, what would be, you know, like three or five great pointers for them? I would say keep up the good work with Facebook and develop the relationship building. I would also recommend maybe looking into microblogs like Twitter. Uh, I'm a personal fan myself of blogs. Uh, I'm actually writing at, at the blog for Telia Sweden, which is the, the local brand in Sweden, mm -hmm. uh, which I think is a brilliant way to present your ideas and make yourself accessible to customers by talking about the stuff that's going on uh, and get their input. And one further thing I think is good is also peer-to-peer, -peer, like a forum, where customers can talk about your stuff and services mm -hmm. on your website. Would that be a good thing sometimes? You know, it, it does have its pluses and minuses. Yeah, but it's the same way everywhere, because if you're sitting at a dinner with your friends, I'm sure you're not saying all nice things about all the brands all the time. I'd rather you do it where I can see it and comment and, mm -hmm. and help you if you have a problem than if you're just sitting and, and talking without me not knowing it. So they can change and basically develop. Yeah.
I mean, life isn't perfect all the time. Mm -hmm. so, and we also make mistakes, and that's why we have to be there and help. Let's say, well, in Moldova it's popular, Facebook is popular, but there's countries that, you know, it's, oh my God, Twitter and so on and so on. What are other countries using that we might start using in the future and that could help out promote uh, different brands, organizations and so on? <laughs> That's a difficult question. <laughs> Uh, because, uh, as you know, I, op I, I monitor the 20 markets we operate on. Um, m most of them are active on Facebook, Twitter. Some of them have internal and external blogs. For example, our, uh, one of our brands in Lithuania, Omnitel, they have, I think, 13 internal blogs. Mm -hmm. But also I've seen here in, in, in Eurasia, Tilasona Eurasia, with Moldcell and uh, Kcell, they also operate on Adna Klasniki. Now, um Using social media, the way you get more effective with your brand is if you become somehow through the blogs, through posting different things, a social authority, let's call it. How can Moldcell do that? Moldcell, like the Telia Sonra Group, has one of our objectives or focus areas is to, to provide world-class customer experience. Mm -hmm. And that's quite a big goal. For me, I think one of the reasons we, we can achieve that is by getting the input from our customers. Mm -hmm. And by also listening to any channel they can or they see fit, uh, I think they have a lot to gain. Okay, so we asked you about your job, your work and social media. Uh, now I will ask you about you as a foreigner in Moldova. I think you're the first guest that has been here for less than 24 hours. So basically I don't have that much to ask you, but tell me your first impressions. What did you get to see so far? What did you get to experience? My first impression was actually when we flew in and I thought it was really lovely because it was like we flew down downwards over the hills. Mm -hmm. And to me that was really heartwarming. It felt so nice. Uh, it was coming down to some warm place. Usually when you fly into a country you get to see lots of houses, big buildings and here it's kind of scary because if you uh, land at night you don't see anything. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, so was that frightening for you because yes it's beautiful, you know it's autumn yeah. but how is that for you, you know, not that much of a industrial view? No, but it's more like I read about you have this fabulous wine production and I saw all the, the, the farms and stuff. It just looked beautiful, really nice. And then at, last night at the restaurant, you know, the people in these, not costumes, but I mean basic, the, the clothes. Traditional, traditional clothes. clothes okay. Thank you. Friendly people, smiling mm. and sharing and good music and traditional music. Really good. What else did you get to do within the city, within the 24 hours you've had? Not that much, but last night my colleagues took me walking a bit to show me a bit of the town before we went to the restaurant. So I got to see some of the ark and stuff like that. Now does it look as what you've read on Wikipedia or the pictures you've seen? Because you got informed before you yeah, came Yeah, of here. course, I always try to do that. I thought it gave me a positive impression. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can see not, like you said yourself, like all the roads might not be uh, perfect, but, but uh, as long as the people are friendly. To me, that's a lot. Where do you see uh, our country within, let's say, five years, when it comes to technology developing and so on? Well, as you might know, Teleasonra was the first operator in the world to introduce 4G. And Molsel being part of the Teleasonra families, of course, uh, we hope to include everyone with the new technology for to provide to you customers new ways to deal your, with your business, the communication, whatever. You. So there's lots of stuff. I mean, last uh, two weeks ago, we opened a base station on Mount Everest. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping you can also benefit from the knowledge we have also in Moldova. Yes.